Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the reporting tools in Alteryx. We're going to highlight some of our favorites as you're getting started learning how to use these powerful tools to automate professional looking reports using Alteryx. First, we'll use the table tool, followed by report text, and then the layout and render tool finally. If you'd like to follow along with this video, we're using a sample data set that can be found in the table tools example. So following the blue example link. So here we're working with the master store file sample data set provided by Alteryx. Here the county we're going to use as a key field. So we're going to produce one formatted table per county. And ultimately, we're going to see these show up as separate tabs in the same Excel report. So we're going to use the same data set, but play around on the blank canvas. And first, we're going to use the table tool, which will take our raw data and create a reporting snippet. First, we'll determine which fields we'd like to publish and how we want to format those fields. So for total sales, we're going to add a prefix of a dollar sign, and we'd like to do some conditional formatting and highlight that when total sales is above a certain value, say 450,000, we want to then highlight that row of data, very similar to conditional formatting that you would do in Excel. To evaluate our result in the table, when we hit the run button, we can't see the table in the results window as the reporting tools will take a snippet of that data. And to view it, we need to add a browse tool. So we can add a browse tool after, hit the run button one more time. And in the browse window, we can see how our data has been formatted. And if you look at the connection progress after each of the tools, you'll see our 24 records of data have been transformed into one reporting snippet. Now when we group by the county, we are now working with seven records. So we have seven counties worth of data present in the data set, and we will now produce one table for each. To add some context to each of these tables, we like to add a dynamic header, and we can do this with the report text tool. In Teach Alteryx, we want to place this text above the table and then we can format that text however we'd like. And this is a great way to get mail merge like results, especially when you're working with large data sets. As you see now, each of our seven tables has the source county as the header. And to teach Alteryx how we want to publish these tables, we're going to use the layout tool. So the layout tool allows you to determine how these reporting snippets will be published, whether side by side, left to right, uh, vertical with section breaks, we'll place them on separate tabs within an Excel document, or as new pages in a PDF that will be bookmarked. So that's a fantastic way to produce results. And after the layout tool, finally, we will render our output, very similar to output data, except we can choose some formats that allow for a final presentation, such as PDF, HTML, PNG. Uh, here I'm writing to an XLSX file. So we'll have one Excel file with seven tabs. Each of those tabs will be labeled with the section name, which we selected the county name. But these could be also written to separate files and published a million different ways. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.